Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now I've received this product a couple of times in the past with each model adding new features. So this video will not be a major in-depth review in every feature. However, this version, the ATS25 Max Decoder, does have a few features which are quite interesting. So first off, it comes with a very good and detailed color printed manual. You'll also find a USB cable in the box, which can be used to charge the internal battery from a five volt USB source, or it's used as a way to connect to a computer, but more about that in a moment. Now two antennas are supplied in the box. One is a telescopic antenna for FM broadcast reception, and the other is a Wi-Fi antenna. Now this version has Wi-Fi enabled, which can be used for a variety of features, whether it's enabling the license activation or grabbing the correct time from an online NTP server. Now this version came fully activated and when connected to the Wi-Fi network with internet connection, it will automatically check for any new firmware updates and if found, it will prompt you on the screen. Now once powered on, you'll notice a sort of waterfall and spectrum scope, which provides some visual feedback of received stations. Now, if you own or seen the previous ATS25, then you'll notice the layout looks familiar, but it's also a little bit more refined. Using the included stylus to control the menu system via the touchscreen is far easier than using your fingers, but if you forget the stylus or misplace it, then you can just use the regular touch. Now, according to the product description, this ATS25 Max decoder has been redesigned both hardware and software, compared to the older ATS25 versions. Now the license key for the included firmware is also an official activation for those that were wondering. Now the menu system is fairly familiar with the ability to quickly choose between hand bands or regular radio bands. FM broadcast radio is supported, but that's as high as it goes in terms of supported frequency range. All other bands are lower HF bands. Therefore, the included telescopic antenna is really only suitable for FM broadcast. Now, by tapping on the receive signal strength meter, you can cycle through a few different styles, one of which shows as an audio spectrum. The FM band scanner is a pretty cool feature where the ATS25 Max decoder will scan the FM band and then visually show the peaks of receive stations. RDS is also supported along with an automatic scan and store feature for FM broadcast stations. So if you're in a new area or move to a different location, you can perform another scan and store local stations. So this version has the ability to decode some digital modes, kind of obvious from the name of the product. Now within the Digi menu, you can select the digital mode. However, the only ones which were selectable for me was RITI, FT4, FT8, and a mode called Hell Field. The others weren't selectable and maybe they're not available until a future version of firmware, but I can't be 100% sure. Now FDA appeared to work quite well with each station receive listed on the screen. Now an interesting feature, if enabled in the menu, is the ability to output the received and decoded FDA stations to a virtual serial port. With a USB cable plugged in between the ATS25 and your computer, you can use an application like Putty to connect to the virtual serial port. Now, as stations are received and decoded, those stations appear in plain ASCII text on the COM port. Now, for mine to work, I connected to the virtual serial port using a baud rate of 115200 and then just waited for the FT8 transmissions to be received and then decoded. Now receiving normal HF when connected to my NFED half-wave antenna also seems to be working quite well, although there is still that slight whooshing when tuning and AGC is a little inconsistent with strong stations, even with the attenuator turned on. However, it's still very listenable without too much ear bleeding. Hello, Bravo, Mike, X-ray, good morning, John, you are five cities. Something is wrong with this so beautiful phone, uh, which is a Chinese one that I don't want to answer to a question that this uh, phone is asking me at the moment. So I, I was uploaded into the computer and uh, I will see the thing there. Extra 
gaat in te melden. Ga ik even naar luisteren. Gaat u gang. Ah, kijk eens aan. Hotel Juliet Bravo met een vierde voor. Hartstikke mooi. En, uh, ja, je zit hier een vier tot vijf neer. Ga je gang. Hotel Golf 23, Yankee Oscar Tango Alpha. Hotel Golf 23, Yankee Oscar Tango Alpha. Charger 73. Bye bye, Charger. Hotel Golf 23, Yankee Oscar Tango Alpha. Not bad at all, and you're starting really good, by the way. Uh, you're starting excellent. And uh, that 5000 on the amplifier is a good combination for sure there. Works really well. I think, yeah. Say that being a lot of fancy or stuck using the amplifier, you can't do it without it. The mic's such a duffer and so forth. Yeah, I do tend to use it most times now. I do put it on. I, uh, I have a list on the band and I, I sort of like assess the band conditions before I switch it on. And if the band's, uh, you know, if it's, uh, if it's not too bad, I'll sometimes just use the radio power, but nine times out of ten, I just put the amp on and uh, put a bit of few watts into it and, uh, you know, two or three hundred out, uh, Derek. And, uh well, there we go, guys. That's the ATS-25 Max Decoder. Now, let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. I'll leave a link to where I got this from down in the description of this video. If you want to check out more information about this product or maybe even purchase one yourself. As mentioned before, this wasn't really a full in-depth review as I've covered this product before, but I've highlighted some of the nice new features that's available on this version. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.